What is up, nerds? Xavier Elon here. I hope everybody's being productive during this quarantine. I know I've been getting a lot of work done. I'm actually going to be doing a few videos every week, so please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. So today I'm going over Invert Binary Tree. Um, I chose this one because I just thought this tweet was hilarious. Google, 90% of our engineers use the software you wrote, but you can't invert a binary tree on a whiteboard, so fuck off. <laughs> so I don't know, I just found that funny. So I wanted to actually learn how to invert a binary tree. Um, so yeah, we just have to, here's the input. We basically just um, flip the, the nodes. Um, I don't know how you describe it, in invert them, I guess. Um, so yeah, you see nines on the outside, on the right side, and then it goes to the left side, the two and the seven swap. Um, so three and six are still in the middle. They're just swapped. Um, they're still six is still connected to seven. So um, this shouldn't be too hard. Um, I have it on my whiteboard. I'm going to show you the intuition behind it. So basically, oops, we're just going to swap these two and then swap these two. And then we just have to swap these two because um, the the six and the nine will be swapped so that's perfect because that lines up with this so then we just swap these and it puts seven right here and two right here and as you see if we swap three over here and one so it works all we have to do is do that so let's do our leaves first down here we're gonna swap these so let's just go straight to the code this is a uh, quick one so if the root is null then we're just returning null and then we have we're gonna create two tree nodes so one for right oh, equals <clears throat> and we're going to call the function and so this is going to be a recursive, uh, recursive solution. We want to go all the way. We want to recursively call it all the way down. So we go all the way to, to nine first, and we're going to check to see if it has um, leaves. I want to change the color or more or nodes below it, and it, they're going to be null. So we don't have to swap those. Um, but when we go up, up back up to seven, it's going to see that it has nodes to the right and the left and it's gonna we're gonna swap them in our code so let's just do that but first we have to so this is like a a depth first kinda because it goes all the way to the bottom it does the bottom first so root dot left and <clears throat> root dot left equals right and root dot right equals left and we just want to return the root so at the end we're just returning the tree and that should work i'll go through it one more time because i know i explained that fast and i'll go through it in the debugger as well um so right here we're just calling it's going to recursively call till it gets all the way to the bottom the last right and let me scoot this over and when it finally reaches a node this is going to be the first node that it reaches that has actual nodes that can be swapped um, it's going to swap them so they're going to swap first so like I said they're going to become 9 and 6 and then it's going to go back up to 4 and it's going to go to the left side and it's going to swap these guys next so these are going to, this is going to become 3 and 1 um, and then it's going to go back up to four and it's going to swap fours right and left so they move to here right here so that's it let's go through the debugger real quick to help you guys visualize this more um, set a break point don't need to um, unfortunately this is it would be nice if they had a visualizer for the debugger but they don't so um, it's just going to go all the way down to the right to nine and then it's going to be null right is null left is null so 
um, it's so it's gonna swap them but it's just no and no so they're still technically the same now we're up at six it's going to um, so the right is nine we have that and now it's doing the left so it's gonna do no right no left no for uh, six I believe was it six yeah six And then it's gonna go up to seven, if that's what was above. Yeah, seven. And my internet sucks with this quarantine. So right is nine, left is six. It's going to swap them. We don't actually get to see the swap in the debugger, unfortunately, just because of the way the variables are set up. It goes to four and now we're gonna go, to, so we found out all the right we did all the functions for the right for the right side. Now we're going to do the left, and it's going to do the right on the left side as well. So we're at two. We're going to go down to three. Call the right function. It's keeping a track or a stack. You got to remember that. So three is going to be null, and you get the point. I just want to show you guys where two and seven swap. This is why I really like the uh, debugger. Really helps if you need it. And so there we're, we're, well, we're still at one. We're going to go to two and swap one and three. And there we go. We're going to swap them right there. It doesn't show it, but it is. Now we're at four. And we're going to see these. It's going to swap. So root.left is um, two. Yeah, two. And root.right is seven. So it's just going to swap those whole trees, those whole subtrees. And then it just returns the root, which is 47926311. And that's all we had to do. Um, hope you guys enjoyed the video. The runtime is just O of N because um, we have to loop through the whole tree. And the space complexity is O of N because we're keeping a recursive stack O of N length.